I think this is going to be uh, no surprises. I think uh, Mr. Powell has proven himself to be a very stable impact, or at least a very stable part of the, uh, the Fed. Uh, his leadership is going to be a continuation of what we've seen in the past. I think there's going to be some steady growth in the interest rates uh, with regard to monetary policy, but uh, he's kind of one of these no surprises kind of guy, and right now uh, we think that's pretty important. He was uh, nominated by Trump. So I figure you're going to get at least 49 no's or 48 no's from, uh, from the Democrats. No, probably not. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure there will be some people that, that, that don't like him just because he's a Trump nominee. No, but well, I, 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 when, when it's all said and done, the, the, not, the confirmation is not in doubt. What do you think the final numbers are going to be? Think any Republicans well, won't, will vote no? No, I, I actually, you know, we've already had him up before our committee in December. And there was only one no vote in December on the entire committee. So I would expect kind of a repeat of the December uh, vote. I would expect that there may be one, maybe two uh, no votes, since this is just a continuation. This is an extension of the term. And, uh, and at this point, I think he's a, you know, a, a well-known commodity. Uh, and I think people feel very comfortable with him. Uh, they like the stability on the board. And right now, with regard to monetary policy, we think that's important. We want to make sure that the, uh, that the changes that are occurring with regard to uh, people reviewing the taxes and, and the revisions in the tax law uh, are what moves the economy forward to begin with. But they need that stable monetary policy as well. So we've still got to do some things with regard to regulatory reform, particularly with regard to financial institutions. And then we're going to have to look at that labor force. Uh, we've got real challenges there if we want to achieve some higher GDP numbers in the future. But Monetary policy is critical, and that means a very stable monetary policy at this point in the game. And I guess you you follow closely what, what uh, the forecasts are for the Fed this year. You figure what three or four, and, and the, the economy can handle three or four rate increases. And this this is one thing that might and might not be a lot of disagreement in. Uh, across the aisle with this. I, I guess some Democrats would like even less than, than three to four. Uh, they, they always like, uh, you know, keep things, uh, keep things headed uh, higher. But uh, what do you think, three or four? I think it's a continuation of what you saw under Chairman Yellen, which yeah, would okay. be three, three, three quarters of a percent. I, I think you're going to see, you know, and once again, monetary policy is up to them based upon how they see things heating up. But uh, stability and using the same approach right now, I think, is healthy for us. So it wouldn't surprise any of us at all to see those types of numbers. Once again, we're not predictors, or, or we wouldn't be in the United States Senate. We'd be doing something else. Yeah. But uh, we think that's a reasonable expectation, and we think Mr. Powell is probably one of these guys that we can count on to be very stable in his approach. And and uh, you know, and, uh, but I think you'll see a continuation of, of a lot of the policies that were there before. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.